It's time for the sandbox news. The Gary's Mod Style add-ons are finally here. We have a new system for the first person view model arms. There's new clothes and facial expressions for the character. We have updates to the Minecraft style game. There's updates to the asset browser and the backend workshop system, which has been renamed to Sandworks. The Gary's Mod Style add-on system has been added. There's a new Sandworks tab. So currently, this is just for models, and it doesn't actually work properly yet. It hasn't been fully implemented. This was just added yesterday. Currently, only models are supported, and here we can see there's a list of user-created models. They're all errors right now, and it looks like there's a bounding box showing how big they are. If I spawn one in, it shows me some details on it. So this is a dumpster, and it's by GCAF. It's GCAF model int. I guess he didn't change the name of his file. I believe you can upload models to here by going to the asset browser in tools mode. It's not in the add-on manager. These are in the asset browser, at least for now. So I haven't uploaded anything yet, but I believe if I find the model I want in here, I'll go into my placeholder folder. So I found this placeholder vending machine model that I made a while ago. Uh, we can see a preview of it here. I can spin it around and it looks like I can upload it here. So I'll give it a title, I'll call it placeholder vending machine. And I need to create a unique identifier. So I'll call this placeholder vending machine <laughs> zero one, I guess. And if I change the organization, yeah, I can click upload to Sandworks. Looks like it's updating and the identification is too long. So it looks like for now, at least this has to be less than 16 characters. So I'll prefix it with PH for our placeholder. Let's see if this is long enough. Nope, it's still too long. Uh, PH underscore vending zero one. Is that short enough? Looks like it is. So it's been successfully uploaded. Uh, if I go back in game and I press Q, no, I think I'll have to restart sandbox mode to see it. Hmm, it's still not here. I wonder if I have to go to the developer website. And yeah, here I can see placeholder vending machine. I'll click it under name and description. Looks like it's tagged as hidden for now. This is also a new update. I was going to show it off later, but I'm already here. So the visibility option here has been reduced from like six different options that all did the same thing to just hidden and release. So this makes a lot more sense, I think. Looks like I can also change uh, the thumbnail and the background here. I'm not sure why I would do that for a model. And I don't know if the summary and description are used anywhere, at least yet. I don't think we can change the visibility in the editor yet. I think for now, at least, we have to come to this website. I'm sure that'll change in the future though. So back in game, um, it's still not here. If I was to restart again, uh, yeah, here it is. It's in the menu and it looks like I can actually spawn this in and it's not an error, probably because this is my model that I uploaded. So this is very cool. This is so interesting. Keep in mind, this was literally just added yesterday, so it's not fully functional yet. We can only upload models for now. I'm sure in the future, we'll be able to create custom entities, for example, custom weapons or custom vehicles. This is very exciting, although this definitely is not Gary's mod. I, I know a lot of people really want to have a Gary's mod-like experience in Sandbox. It was always planned from the beginning, but now it's starting to become possible. For now, I believe this menu is only accessible in the sandbox mode. However, I assume other greens would easily be able to access this and use it for anything they need. Now, Sandbox is not going to have the system like the Steam Workshop. Instead, everything is in-game and it's all hot-loaded whenever you need it. I didn't subscribe to these models. They're just in here in the menu. Also, you may have noticed the UI is looking a little different. It looks like it's been slightly updated. It's mostly the same though, just a visual difference. We have updates to the first person arms. None of the weapons in game have been updated to use this new hand system, but we have new information on how it's planned to work. Keep in mind, this is very early and subject to change. But for now, from my understanding, it looks like if you're just making basic weapons, you won't need to create new animations for each weapon. You'll be able to take an existing default animation 
and adjust the finger and hand position so it lines up perfectly on your gun. The hand models can easily be changed too. So if you don't want hands that looks like a man who's been digging in dirt all day, instead if you wanted cleaner hands or more feminine looking hands or cartoony hands to go with a cartoon character, you can easily swap those in. Here we can see a more detailed and more technical explanation from one of the developers. Keep in mind, this is all a very early plan. I don't think it's even been implemented yet, so it's definitely subject to change. And you can always make your own original hands and animations. There's nothing stopping you from doing that. There's a lot more clothes for the sandbox character. Here we can see I'm currently wearing a gray shirt, glasses, a ponytail, and eyebrows. If I go into the menu, we can see uh, it looks like the lighting is glitched out again. So there's realistic eyebrows. Here's the hair we saw last week. We also have a ponytail now. And under hats, we can see there's two different glasses, black stylish glasses and gold stylish glasses. We can see the gold stylish glasses actually make your eyes go invisible, I think. It's very interesting. And there's also a burglar ski mask here. So if you wanna violate the law, make sure you put this on. Under tops, we have the tactical vest from last week and the new long sleeve shirt. That's so interesting. It says PZY. I wonder what that could mean. We can only speculate. Maybe it stands for Pool Zone Yard. There's new facial animations. I believe they've been set up to play when you attack. So if I shoot, yeah, we can see this bot here. He's playing different facial animations from what we've previously seen. That's so interesting. Wow. This changes sandbox for, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. We have a new preview from the Minecraft style game. So here we can see there's a world editor menu here. We can see there's different tabs. So area blocks, duplicate blocks, edit block data, and place block. So this is for a level editor for a Minecraft style blocky game. And immediately when I see this, I think of world edit. So I imagine this is for editing large amount of blocks at a time and copy pasting prefabs around. This is very interesting, very exciting to see. Again, this Minecraft voxel stuff isn't publicly available yet, so we'll see this in the future. Lastly, more obsolete stuff has been removed. It looks like some old Xbox code, Dota stuff, and some other unused garbage has been removed. That's so cool, that's so interesting. I'm very excited for the future of gaming. What do you think of Sandbox? Is it interesting? Is it cool? Like, comment, subscribe.